Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to everyone out there. Hey, what's up? It's Friday, it's official, the weekend has rise upon us. So we're going to take this day and run with it. And today I want to share with you a look inspired from buying makeup from Dollar Tree. Dollar makeup, you can find some steals for affordable price. So we're going to test that out today. And I collected a few eyeshadow palettes. And then I went yesterday to pick up some additional things. Some brushes for another look, for another video. And then I picked up... A highlighter kit and I think that's it I didn't pick up a lippy because I already have lippies from this brand so let's go ahead and let's get started so I'm going to talk about LA colors so I'm going to be doing a look from this brand and I already prime my eyelids so I'm ready to jump in to this video so I picked up this three color eyeshadow from LA Colors is a multi dimensional eyeshadow palette. It's in the CBE S625 Water Lily. So it's a three color eyeshadow palette. Again, one dollar. And yeah, so I'm going to try out this palette. You probably could find it on LAColors.com if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area. I was going to say the 99 cent store. You may could try that too, but I'm not sure. I know these are definitely in the Dollar Tree. They may be in the Dollar General. So, we're going to go ahead and try a eyeshadow look. And I'm just using nothing but these colors from this trio so i'm not borrowing for no other palette and the next thing that i bought and this was yesterday i bought the highlighter trio kit and cbpp 264 time to glow so this is the colors so we got some bronze and golds and they say that this one is in iridescent and metallic finishes. The products for each. Well, this one has 5 gram of product. So, that's 0 0.175 ounce and net weight. The eyeshadow trio comes in a 5.5 gram net weight of 0 0.19 ounces. And both product is good for 36 months. And the next thing I'll be trying out today. So let me show this up to you again closely. So that's what it looks like. And the next thing I'll be trying out today is the LA Colors Powder Blush. That comes with a brush applicator and BSB. 341 Sweet Cheeks. So it's a powder pink, like baby doll pink blush shade. And it has a net weight of 0 0.13 ounces and 3.8 gram. It says it's a soft, silky texture highlight cheek. So your typical blush. So let's go ahead and get started. So, for anyone who may be curious what may be in this trio for the eyeshadow palette, there's mica, talc, magnesium, styrate, mineral oil, dimethicone, ethylhexyl, palmitate, polyisobutene, phenoxynothano, caprylglycol, ethylhexyl glycerin. I'm about to say glycerin. So basically when you receive the trio, when you buy it, it comes with a fastened seal that's here. But I noticed when I looked at the blush and the highlighter kit, it didn't come with the seal. But 
doesn't matter. It didn't look like it was tampered with, so I was fine with it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. It does come with this sponge applicator tip, which to me is very outdated, so I'm not going to be using it. Something back for the 70s, the 80s, whatever. Nobody, I don't think nobody messes with sponge tips, and it's, I think it's just something that makeup company com, makeup companies need to do away with altogether, like completely rid of those sponge tips. No one does that anymore. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the gold shade. I wonder if I should do gold on the lid or purple on the lid. So let's start with the purple. So maybe I'll start all over my eyelid with the purple shade. And it does look quite shimmery. I'm going to be using, ooh, there's a lot of kick up. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blending brush. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. And I noticed from reading the ingredients on this eyeshadow, it's a typical, if you look at most, like, drug stores, especially, like, if you go to Burlington or if you go to Marshall, depending on the type of makeup, they do have, most makeup have similar ingredients, so... If you're not used to reading ingredients on your products, you probably should start doing that because it's helpful. And it also lets you know if you have some kind of skin irritation from it, it'll help you to see what may be the cause of it. But I was looking at my Makeup Revolution and I noted that some of the ingredients were similar. And that so if you're someone who used makeup revolution maybe this is the same type of shadow so it definitely looks shimmery you can see that giving some dimension but I'm gonna go in with that gold and I'm just gonna use this purple all over I think it's a really pretty shade. Definitely a nice color for the summer. This would actually be a really beautiful shade if you just want to wear a single eyeshadow color. You could just wear this alone. Pop you on some lashes, mascara. If you don't wear lashes, just a mascara, maybe touch it up with a eyeliner pencil, like tight line your top lash line, but also your water line, your bottom lash line. I call it tight lining, top or bottom. And call it a day. Well, it's definitely pigmented. You can see that. It's definitely a pigmented shade. So the next color I'm going to go in, and I may come back to that purple shimmer shade. So I'm going to, did I show that to you all? I think I did. So this is what it looks like in the pan. That's how much I've used so far. So I'm going to go in next with this purple. Probably use the same brush. It definitely has like this iridescent, so you could really use it 
like a highlight. I'm going to put some, I'm going to swatch it on my hand to show you all. It has this very iridescent, it feels buttery. It feels quite nice. And it's probably due to the, the methicone and the shadow and the mineral oil. So that's what it looks like. If you can see that. It has a iridescent like a really nice purple color I would say. So let's go in with the um the gold. I'm going in with this this golden color here on my eyelids. And I'm just gonna Tap that in, or buff, tap it in, and try to blend it in once I get it on my eye. That gold is definitely, I think it's a bit shimmery. I wonder if I wet this color, what it would look like. Maybe I'll wet it on the other eye, see if there's any difference. I'm just going to blend that in. I don't know if you all can see the gold or not. It looks kind of sheer on my eyes so I may I may wet this brush and I can see it looks very um like a white gold or something so let me try to wet my brush I'm gonna wet my brush with Mac Fits Plus and see what it does Cause I'm gonna swatch the gold on my hand to give you all what it looks like. So it looks like a matte, even though it has a shimmer coat. It is definitely a matte. So no wonder it's not giving me that shimmer color. That's strange. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely probably supposed to be used as a transition shade. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see if I wet it and see what happens. It's such a strange shade because it definitely has a shimmer coat to it. That's very odd. But anyhow, I have wet the brush. And I'm going to go in on top of my eyes. Well, at least you get, you know, I get to play around with the shadows and see how they work. You never know what you're going to get, but the whole point of it is to have fun. I really like the purple though. The purple is, is stunning. It will actually look very stunning on its own. It's so odd. It looks kind of shimmery on my eyes. But then it... I don't know what kind of shade this is. When I don't know what it, exactly what it is, I call it mystery shade because it's so... It's so odd. 
I'm just gonna blend that in. Whip that purple. Looks very nude on my eyes. I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it. I think next time I flip it and do it the other way, I use the brown. And then I cover the purple up all over my lips. If it is indeed a transition shade. So I'm going to go back in with that purple. And I'm using my contour brush. And I'm just going to... Give it a little bit depth on the outer V. Again, I did not want to borrow for anything from other palettes because I highly believe that palettes, if they're trios, they're quads, or they're duos they should really support each other they should not be where you have to pull from other palettes if you feel like you got to pull from another palette then those shadows are not giving you what you need and that's a crime no it's not a crime but that's that's hard because the more simple you have in front of you to do looks the better you will feel so I'm just going to take this out a little bit kind of wing it I don't like how my wig looks nude, but we're just going to roll with it. A very odd shade. Very odd. I feel like something's missing. You know, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to add to this palette from something else. But I almost feel like this is nude. But, what do y'all think? I'm tempted to add something from another, from another source. But I think I better just chill and do what I can with this shade it is what it is so I'm just taking that and buffing that color because I just don't want my natural eyelid to peep from underneath the shadow and that is my concern. They're giving me some sh shimmer. Some shim shim shimmy. Some shimmy shimmy shim. But I don't know what quite to think of that shade. So I'm going to go ahead and go and buff that purple. And my lower lash line, I'm going to tight line with it.
of course my nice little water line is going to get ready and make an appearance but we're just going to bypass and send that one not down my face so that's pretty much what it looks like I'm so tempted to put glitter over my eyelids but I just wanted to use it as is as is and not borrow anything from anywhere so I'm gonna go in next and there is some gold flakes in that brown shade so my eyes feel naked I feel like there's something more it needs so I'm gonna go in and I forgot to get a what you call it something to put in the inner corner highlight so what I'm gonna do is use that same brush that I was tight lining with and use it on my outer V I'm gonna go in with this iridescent white hopefully it's pearlescent shade and I'm just going to use it as my let me test it on my hand yeah it's definitely pearlescent and I'm just going to use it in my inner corner Sometimes you just got to stay tough and not being under pressure to steal from other sources for your look even though I really want something to cover up my eye now I wish I had really used that brown first and then went over it with the purple That brown is a little bit funky. I don't know what to make of it. But that white makes a nice little inner corner highlight. Okay, I see you. We're just going to take a little bit up to my highlight, my little brow region. Give it a little bit of highlight. I mean, you all know I'm really playing now. I am really playing with my face. That's all right. It looks like some of that purple came up with that pearlescent, but that's okay. That's what it looks like. You just play with stuff. You never know what you're going to get. So I think I'm done with the eyeshadow palette. I'm tempted to go back in more with that purple. But, you know, otherwise I'm just, I'm just letting that brown just, you know, it's. I'm letting that brown just go to filth. But there is some shimmer to it. I don't know why it's not as strong as the purple in the palette. But I'm tempted to take it up a little bit more. Take this purple in a little bit more. Depth, depth in the outer V. Hmm. I 
So I think with the purple, you just want to get more depth in your outer V. Just keep building on the color. Keep building and building and building and building and building. So there's some contrast in that region. Just build, 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 build. Okay, so I think I'm done. Stop playing with my eyes because then it started looking more, more out there than I really wanted to look. So that is using that palette. But you know what? I just I feel like I just can't leave that brown part alone. I feel like I need to add something. So you know what, I'll probably use some of the highlight once I start highlighting my cheeks and I go back over my eyes and add some dimension in that area because it just looks naked. I don't know how it looks to you all, but I just feel like it looks naked. Like there needs to be some more, mm, some like oomph there and it's not giving me enough oomph. But I will be playing with this eyeliner glitter that I got from Vixen and Beard and I can't tell what company it's from because the color is black and you just can't read the writing but it looks like this it's just a simple glitter and this is just to accent my lower lash, lower lash line because I want to just add a little bit of some sparkle and it's multi-color sparkle color so we're gonna do that and see how it goes Nobody made it mess the look up more. I probably should be standing here with a mirror in front of me, which I do, but I have to lean in closer. The glitters kind of move around a little bit. You know, I should have used I should have used Rihanna's Alien liner for this look, but this is a more of a budget friendly type of look. It glitter is the glitter is making my eyes water. There is something, there is definitely something in there. fan myself a bit I don't think my eyes was ready for it but anyhow let me go ahead and put on some mascara so I'm going to use my Maybelline the Colossal Volume hello I'm back my camera stopped so um in the midst of Coming back, I just started to clean my eyes off. I removed the glitter that I was putting on my eyes because it was starting to water. So I must have a little bit of a sensitivity to that particular glitter liner. So I just removed it, cleaned up around my eyes. So I'm going to move on ahead and I'm going to 
go into the highlighter kit because I want to add some dimensions on my eyelid. And that pearlescent looking white champagne color. I don't know what to think of it. It reminds me just like how the brown is. It comes off looking shimmery with a little bit of sheen. But then it looks matte. So I don't know what to make of the colors because the texture definitely looks more iridescent, iridescent shimmer type. But it's just so odd because when I was swatching it on my hand, it looks nothing of like iridescent. It has this like matte, almost like a matte type of finish, but it's not matte. It just looks a little bit chocolatey. I'm about to say chalky looks a bit chalky but it definitely has a like an iridescent to it it's a lighter like a lilac type of iridescent i'm going to show it to you so you can see the difference between all the three colors so those are the three colors from this trio and you can kind of see that white color is more of a Almost like a dual chrome iridescent. But it didn't really pick up in my inner corner, which I thought was very odd. But you know how it is. So I'm just going to go on and place some color on my eyelid. So I'm going in with the LA Colors Highlighter Kit. And I'm going to go in with this gold color here and put some on top. I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to top my eyelid with that color. I feel like it looks, just looks naked up there. It needs some, some bling, some pop. Can't leave a eye completely naked where you can, but you know, she might look a little bit, you know, a little bit basic. She may not feel like she looks up to par. That's a bit better. Just want to give it some gold. like some gold went into my mouth just now. The little shimmer flakes definitely move around as you apply it. Now look at the gold on my finger. I want to swatch this on my hand so you can see what that gold looks like. It has a sheen, so you can see what that color looks like. It's not, it's not bad for a one dollar highlighting kit. I think it definitely is workable, especially you somebody who really, 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 really on a tight sweep of your budget. Or you just want to keep it simple. You don't want it to look overly 
No, you don't just don't you just don't want to overspend. I'm gonna go with my brush. Go in. I'm tempted to wet this brush. I'm just doing too much. I'm doing too much right now. There's definitely gold flakes in this highlight, and I think it does do better not wet due to the formula of the shadows. So I think it is best to apply with your fingers or with an adhesive to make sure those colors hold together on your eye in the glitter that's in it hold together not fall apart so I'm just going to press that in I'm not going to rub because it does have again those glitter gold particles in it so I'm just going to go around my eye and just tap that in I did apply some fix plus to my brush so I just need there need to be something over that brown color so that's why I chose to put some highlighting glow up on these lids because it needed something. It needed something else. It can't be left there unattended all alone, just standing there all shy. It needed some friends to come give it some extra dress some extra you know decorative style to it so it's a good way that you can see that you can use the highlighters in a multi-purpose type of way so if you decide to purchase this trio get the highlighting kit also and use it to help support your look because that brown unless you are more fair skin that brown is going to look very nude on deeper like medium to deep skin tone it's going to look like a complete nude but let me move on because i probably spent already 15 minutes messing with my eyes so I'm going to go in and use another color from my inner corner um, highlight. So I think I want to go with the gold that's in the middle here, or this bronzy type gold. And I'm going to use that. I'm actually going to use this sponge. I'm actually going to use this sponge, and I'm just going to tap that in my inner corner. I'm not a sponge person because sponges can't be reused. I don't think it's showing up with this sponge. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just go in with my fingers. I actually need a brush because my fingers are a little bit are taking my color a little bit too far from where I want it to be. It's taking it a little bit, little bit, bit, bit too far. So let me get a brush. Let me get a brush and then I will come back. I am back. So I did get me a brush. And it's my BH Cosmetic. I'm gonna want to call it like a 
stippling brush, but I don't think it is. I think it's more of a pointed, taper type brush to give depth to the eyes, some depth. Cause I don't want my colors to come too far, too far down. I just want enough in that area. Hmm. I see makeup all the time like if I go in Dollar Tree or Dollar General or 99 cent store and I'm always thinking what's up with the makeup. This is LA Color so this is not like a brand that's unknown but it just depends on you know how it performs. Cause, you know we all need something in our lives and not all of us are going to go out and buy a $40 palette to dress up our face so I think I'm done messing with my eyes I am done messing with these eyes so highlight kit I will see you in a minute so let's go in with my Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara and 233 Glam Black. I did get this a while back from TJ Maxx for $3.99. I just think it's so fitting since I have cat ears on. And it would be nice for this look. So hungry, y'all. I'm hungry, but I'm not hangry. Sometimes being where you have to see close I feel like I need to get my eyes re-examined because even leaning in I'm still like oh, oh, oh. I still have to look hard if I do wear those glasses And I am nearsighted. So I basically have to wear glasses for um, mainly for distance, like looking at things in distance. So that is my cat eyes. So hopefully that looks okay. So like some of that color smeared a bit. Let me clean it up for you guys. I know this is not very classy of a woman to do this right here on the on the screen with you looking at me and all such. So Part of my I really try to not have too much going on around my waterline because it wants to water and it can look a hot mess. So those glitter particles in the highlight shifts around. So I don't think this is like necessarily a bad highlight. But just be aware that some of the gold is going to move around like orbiting around your eyes. And want to land anywhere. 
my nose is itchy land anywhere in sight so just be aware so let's go in with some blush and we're going to begin oh we are going to be using again sweet cheeks this is this please let the blush work so this is this nice little cute pink color so i'm just going to apply this to my eye to my eye I'm going to apply this to my cheeks, tap off some excess, and we're just going to roll the up those beautiful apples, give a nice little flush of something up in here, nose, very beautiful for a lady to give herself a nice little know something on her cheeks looks like she's just gently blushing I like baby doll pink blushes I feel like it is just a nice touch you know just a nice little pink touch to medium even to deep tone skin I think it looks stunning so don't shy away. If you're someone who like, I don't like baby doll pink blushes. It makes me look like a doll. Or I just feel like it's too much for me. Try it out. Just see how it looks. You'll be amazed how beautiful pink looks on cheeks. Especially on your cheeks. And I'm sorry I keep wiping at my nose, but... I feel like it's some allergies or something is going on today. I don't know what's in the air. What's 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 really what's what's really real. What's what's really real. What's what is really going on? So now I'm packing on too much blush, but you know. I do what I want to do, and I do not care what I do, but I do not want to look like Maria tonight, I my cheek, let me see, okay, that's enough, that's enough love. Hmm. Alright, so we are done, and mind you, this LA Color Blush does come with this all little applicator mini brush, but nobody has time for that, mm -mm, definitely not I. So, I am done with that blush, so now it's time to go back into this lovely highlight again and I'm just gonna um take a stippling brush and see how this goes you know I'm just gonna stipple a little color you know what oh yeah I use that powder brush whatever I was gonna use this big old complexion brush for my blush brush but that's good because that was my elf powder elf blush brush I'm not showing you all my brushes huh so basically, I'm going to go with my e.l.f. small stipple brush. I'm just going to stipple out a little bit of gold. Let's see if this stippling brush, I don't want too much. There's a lot of gold. Can you see that? There's a lot of gold, and I'm going in with this color here. So I'm just going to stipple some of this gold up on my cheeks. See how it goes. And I'm just going to stipple. So like a padding motion. So it's just gonna give me a bit of sheen. Just go in with the brush one time and then just press up. And it has a decent amount of shine to it. 
especially if you're wearing blush. I don't know if y'all can see that. Looks like you have enough, just enough blush. Just enough. Not a lot, just enough. Go over here, do the same thing. Just stipple that color across the cheek, a little bit up towards the eye. And I actually like the highlight. The highlight is not bad. Again, there's a lot of particles of so see you don't like a lot of, I was like, say like glimmer. What am I talking about glimmer? If you don't like a lot of glitter, like there's not a ton of glitter, but there's some when you look at the brush. So just tap off on your arm or on the palette itself and glow away it's time to glow just like it said it is time to glow not time to go almost but definitely time to glow you got to get your summer glow going this is the season it's always all year is the season but definitely during your summer I'm sorry, I keep wiping my nose on my hands. So basically, you have to keep that glow going. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much done with my cheeks and I'm done with my eye look. So last thing is a lip product. I'm just going to keep it to the brand. So I'm going to go in with my LA Colors. One of the colors that I already did a lip swatch video on is the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color in the color Fierce. So I'm just going to go in with this purple shade. I almost want to go in with the peachy one, Daydream, but I was like, mm, no, let's just go in with a little bit of purple. I really like these liquid lipsticks because it's the right amount of liquid. I have a hard time working with formulas that are too moussey and I prefer, I prefer this type of formula, liquid. Because when it's moussey, it can dry up very quick. And you won't be able to use it too long. You got to use it up quick or you let it stay up in your drawer, hang out on your vanity, hang out in your purse, forget about it, see your purse, come back for it later, remember that you have it, and it's dried up in the tube. But this is a perfect perfect formula like it's it's a nice liquidy formula so let me show you the consistency if you haven't seen my video other little swatch and you just not seeing this video this is how it looks on the doe foot it's just the right amount of liquid not too liquidy where it's like a lip gloss but it's just that right amount you know to put on your lips so I am done with my whole entire look. Hopefully it looks beautiful. I know I have a lot going on with my face, a lot of goals and a lot of
purples. You know, it kind of goes with my whole cat ears. But I didn't intentionally do that. A little bit with the eyeshadows. I was intentionally doing that. But anyhow, let's get into my final thoughts. So my thoughts first about the LA Color Trio and Water Lily. I think this is an okay trio. If you just want something very simple to use on your eyes, like you're not, you know, going out for anything special. You just want to have something on your eyes. You run into a supermarket or, you know, you're just going to pick up your child from the babysitter. You know, what have you. You just want to throw something on because you don't want your eyes to be naked. This is a nice color, but I do think you can do this color up if you do want to go out for the evening. It's more of an evening type of shadow trio versus then something to use at night. Now, I like the purple the most in this trio because it shows up more. There's more pigmentation to it. It's more strong in terms of the strength on your eyes, and it's definitely you can build it up. It definitely will make a nice highlight. So if you're someone who's into those, like the Anastasia Bella Hills, like Moon Child and the Aurora type palettes, then you could use this as your cheek highlight shade. It is iridescent enough. I don't know if you, if I turn my hand this way, if you can see it. There is enough iridescence enough that will show you know, for your cheeks, if you just want like a little pop of purple on your cheeks as a highlight. I don't know what to make of this color here. It's so strange. It has a sheer, it has a shimmer coat, but then it applies like a matte. So I don't know if it's a satin. And if it's a satin, because it does have a little bit of a sheen more than a shimmer. It's, it looks kind of muddy on my eye. It doesn't look as appealing naked. So, I probably next time may try it the reverse way. And use it as a transition crease or a, a whole all over like base shade. And then just go all over it with the purple shade. But I definitely think if you're going to use that shade like I did today on your eyelid. Use that highlighter kit. And it does, the highlighter kits, there was three, I want to think there's three different types of highlighter kits that I saw yesterday. And one had more of like, um, that whole Aurora Moonchild kind of thing to it. Like the blues, the purples. And then another one had another type of gold, but not the gold that the one that I had today, which is the Time to Glow. And as far as this white shade, I don't know what to make of it too. These two are very identical in terms of their the way they apply. I felt like this was a bit too powdery or too chalky, this one too. But this one, then when I swatched it, it had more of a pearlescent hue to it. But I just find it very strange. I'm like, what is up with this eyeshadow? I don't get it. But... You know, I swatch it on my hand to show you all what it looks like. You know, it's on my hand. So they, you know, it could look like also another highlighting shade. So overall, I wouldn't say this is, you know, really bad. You know, you do get what you pay for. But it's definitely something as an alternative to use if you're somewhat on a budget. You just want something simple to put on your eyes. You're not trying to look extravagant. Or anything, you know, just want to pop a color in your eye, so it's not bad for that purpose. The next thing I want to talk about is the LA Colors Blush and Sweet Cheeks. I really like this blush. This blush applies nicely, just give you just that right amount of pink to your cheeks, so without looking overly done on your cheeks, it gives that right amount of rosy hue. And I think this is a really nice blush. Definitely recommend this one. And in terms of the LA Colors highlighters, I really do think this is a nice highlighter kit. If you're someone, again, who's on a budget 
and you know you, you don't have the extra or you just prefer not to spend extra for some glow definitely look into the LA Colors highlighting kit again this is time to glow a really nice color it does give that nice highlighting sheen to the cheek and it's universal you can use it on your eyes like you saw me use it I put it over my eyelids to give it a little bit of a dimension I also use it in my inner corner as a highlight inner corner highlight and even though the colors are all over the place but that's just me and yeah it's just a really nice affordable highlighting kit so I definitely recommend that one also so that takes care of my look and of course with the matte liquid lip color from the LA colors I definitely give those two thumbs up definitely recommend these lip colors they are inexpensive very nice and I doubt you'll ever see them in Dollar Tree because they are really nice and if you want them again you can go to the LAColors.com website or just check around in you know your beauty supply stores or you know just your different little boutique stores or you know stores that have makeup kind of marked down you may can find them at Ulta um, just look around when you're looking for makeup you'll probably find LA Colors there but definitely you can find them online through their website so that takes care of my look. Thank you so much for being patient and watching me fight with my eyes and get through this video because I didn't know what was up with those two other shades. But I'm glad that the purple pulled together and the highlighting kit helped pull the eye look together. And it's still, you know, it's not perfect, but I just want to show you all you know some alternative some price budget friendly makeup out there in the stores and if you look you can find them and you don't have to feel like you broke the bank to get a decent wearable look and with all three of these items this was only three dollars three Like uno, dos, tres, tres, three colors. And that's all. Just three dollars. Three dollars for these kits. Full face. They also have makeup. They have pressed powders, foundations. I've seen BB creams in the Dollar Tree. They have lip colors, lip balms, eyeliner pencils. There's everything that you could do a full face with that look so again thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in and i will be coming to you again soon with more videos and i wish you all a very good weekend hope everyone will be safe out there and have a really good time and i will see you on the next time i want to start on the flip side but see you later bye